I was, I remember feeling like oh, I'm doing all the right things, but like nothing is helping and I still don't get a period and I don't understand, I eat enough. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I've made a YouTube video and for that I apologize. I have been traveling and just really busy doing a lot of like different things and it's been hard to um, commit to making videos lately. But now I really want to get back into it and start talking about certain things. And um, lately I've just really felt called to talk about um, just reproductive health and um, share my experience with healing my reproductive system and just um, different women's health issues. Um, so for this video, I really want to talk about how I got my period back using the medical medium protocols. I had normal periods for all of high school and um, when I moved away to college, it was definitely a stressful time and um, I stopped getting my period and it was sudden, like as soon as I moved to college, it went away and at the same time, I also started having digestive issues, but that's a whole other topic and I have other videos about that that you can watch. But anyway, so uh, when I moved away to college, I lost my period, I was 19 years old um, and yeah, for no reason that I could understand at the time. Um, so it was gone for about a year and I didn't really do anything about it until a year later I decided to go to a gynecologist and she just put me on birth control pills. They just gave me a diagnosis of amenorrhea and I think what they did was they just told me to eat more and that I was thin and that was why I had lost my period and um, mind you I also um, you know just ate like a regular diet I was kind of healthy but I ate whatever I wanted I was not gluten free not dairy free not egg free not any of that jazz yet I was taking the birth control pills for about a year and I started having really bad brain fog and like panic attacks too that was the other thing too panic attacks and so um, I, for some reason, I forget why, but I was always, I've always just kind of been into like natural health and, you know, using diet as medicine and just doing things more naturally. So um, I decided to, you know, experiment with going off of the birth control and seeing if that would make my brain fog go away and if it would make my anxiety go away and did some research about birth control and I found out a lot of information about it that I did not know before. And so I was like, you know what? I'm definitely going off the birth control for the brain fog and the anxiety and for like a bunch of other issues. So even if it didn't work for, you know, the brain fog and the anxiety, I still was like not gonna go back on birth control. So I went off. It didn't actually help with the brain fog and the anxiety so much. <clears throat> but I decided to stay off of it after everything that I had learned um, that was bad about birth control pills. Um, so yeah, so I stayed off of the birth control pills and I, um, I stopped getting my period because also I forgot to mention, I um, did get my period normally while on birth control pills, but as soon as I stopped, my, birth, uh, my period stopped as well and I looked into more alternative reasons why I was not getting my period and um, I just knew that with all of my health issues that had accumulated over the years or over the year I should say that um, there had to be a hormonal link and so yeah I just started searching more about you know natural um, ways to heal yourself to get your period back um, and I was finding things about adrenal fatigue and I was finding things about um, thyroid issues and um, you know just about stress and you know what most people say to um, not be too stressed out make sure you're eating enough um, 
So, yeah, so I went down the route of, you know, going to an endocrinologist, getting my thyroid tested, getting my hormone levels tested, seeing, you know, seeing if I had adrenal fatigue and all the tests would come back. Yes, you have thyroid problems. Your thyroid is low. Um, and the tests would come back that, yes, I had adrenal fatigue. And um, the tests also came back that I had just had imbalance, you know, female hormones, progesterone and um, estrogen were the most basic ones, but I, you know, there's other ones like that as well um, that come into play as well as like testosterone even for women. And so that was, you know, the test always showed that it was not normal, um, whatever that means. And yeah, health, uh, blood tests and hormone tests are just a whole other topic anyway. Um, which maybe I'll get into in another video, but anyways, so I got all that done and I tried um, thyroid medication like once or twice. I never, I never stayed on the thyroid medication for very long. It was always just like one or two months um, because it, it really didn't make a difference. And um, I just, I, again, I didn't like the idea of putting you know, prescriptions into my body. And I went off and on those pills. I also tried progesterone cream because my progesterone, progesterone levels were low. And um, I don't know, just none of it really worked. Um, I tried different herbs and um, different diets. Diets were telling me to do like low carb um, protein, make sure to get enough protein and healthy fats. Um, so, you know, basically I, um, started going into more of like a paleo diet, um, as well during this time, but it was like, I was, I remember feeling like oh, I'm doing all the right things, but like nothing is helping and I still don't get a period and I don't understand. I eat enough and I think I even like gained a little bit of weight and I don't know, nothing was happening. My digestion was still weird. My brain fog was still terrible. Um, my anxiety was manageable at that point because I had been living with it for long enough that I knew how to just take care of myself and like, you know, live life with anxiety. Um, so yeah, so it was just, it was a really frustrating time because every time I found out new information, um, I would get really hopeful and then I would try what people would say um, or what I would read about working and it just, it, it wouldn't work for me. Yeah, I was on that road for, well, I didn't have my period for the whole time in college, so that's four years and then another three years after that, yeah, seven years of not having a period. And then I, in 2015, found medical mediums information and, um, you know, it was completely different from what I was doing. I, at, right before finding his information, I was diet wise, I was doing extremely low carb, like hardly any fruit, maybe berries at most. I had even done ketogenic, like right before that. Yeah, I was eating lots of animal meats, protein, because I thought I needed lots of protein and that I'd be deficient in some way. And yeah, eating all the healthy fats that people were telling me to eat and just, I think, really starving myself of any sort of carbohydrate. Yeah, and I was also getting plenty of leafy greens too, so it was, it was very healthy in many ways, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't the whole answer for what I needed. So anyways, like I was saying, I found medical mediums information. It was a total shift in what I had been eating and what I had been learning about. Um, needing to eat in order to heal. I was totally ready to embrace the medical medium information because what I was doing was not working, um, even though it was the only information I could find out there. So I put that all aside. I was totally ready to put that aside. And I tried the medical medium information from his books, started doing celery juice every day, every morning. Um, I started eating fruit again um, and plenty of fruit at pretty much every meal except for dinner if I had potatoes if I was 
having a fully raw day. I would just eat fruit and greens all day. Um, I stopped worrying about protein and I worked with a practitioner who was knowledgeable about medical medium information and had worked with Anthony William in the past and her name is Judy DiLorenzo and um, I talked with her about uh, my period issues. She suggested I take Vitex. So um, this was about two months into doing the medical medium protocol or you know, implementing medical mediums information on my own. I had been doing that for two months and then I worked with Judy and within a month or two, I got my period back and it was just so shocking because I <laughs> hadn't had a period in so long and then there it was. I had no idea that it was coming. Like I didn't feel any sort of PMS sort of symptoms um, from what I remember. Um, and I, I had never really felt PMS symptoms um, before losing my period anyway when I got it regularly in high school. But I, there was, I was just so surprised. I remember thinking, wow, there have been no signs from my body that I was gonna get my period, but I did. And it was like a normal period. It lasted for like a week. And I continued to take the Vitex for a little while um, for maybe like two more months after that. And I continued to get my period regularly every month. Uh, my cycles were anywhere from like 28 to I think like 30, 31 or 32 days didn't track it on a calendar or anything like that. Maybe I should have, but I didn't. So yeah, I was getting it regularly and I decided that I wanted to go off of the Vitex because I had read somewhere that it's important to not take it for too long. So I decided to go off and um, see if I could still get my period regularly. And I did. And long story short, I still do, yeah. It's amazing because for so long, so many years, I did not get my period and now I get it regularly. And it's like so normal. And all I had to do was like eat more fruit. And a lot of the things that I thought I needed to be getting like protein and healthy fats, turns out I that didn't matter as much as, um, you know, getting healthy, carbohydrates in from like fruit and potatoes. Fats and protein, sure, they're important. You need them on some level, but not nearly as much as I was made to believe and as much as most people are made to believe. I'm, I've just been really grateful. And today I no longer, I still don't take the Vitex. I haven't had to take it again since then. Now I just take things like nettle leaf, um, I take raspberry leaf, um, lemon balm. I eat plenty of fruit. I make sure to get enough carbohydrates. Potatoes, I know sweet potatoes are really good for the reproductive system, so I try to get those in a lot. I eat in a way that is helping to cleanse my liver of toxins, cleanse my body of toxins, cleanse my reproductive system of toxins. I eat in a way that's antiviral and doesn't feed any viruses that could be in my reproductive system. I make sure to stay away from other certain things that everybody knows are bad for the reproductive system. Staying away from plastics and staying away from certain, you know, beauty products that can affect your hormone levels and that have xenoestrogens um, and staying away from like perfumes and, um, you know, using healthier forms of shampoo, um, things like that. Um, you know, if I buy new clothes, I make sure to wash them before I wear them because they have chemicals on them. And so just being really aware of all these kinds of things really helps your chances of getting your period back if this is something that you're struggling with because overall it helps your body, it helps your liver, it helps your hormonal production be more healthy. Um, it helps to not feed viruses that could be in your reproductive system or your liver. So yeah, taking all of these measures um, will really help um, you have 
either healthier periods, um, less painful periods, or will help you get your period back. So anyway, that is my story. I know this video has gone on for quite some time, but I hope that you could find it helpful. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you'd like to hear more about different hormonal issues or women's reproductive health issues, uh, let me know in the comments below and I would love to uh, do more videos about those topics and uh, just open the discussion about it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day uh, wherever you are and I will catch you in my next video. All right, bye.